Hello Pisces, Pisces rising, Pisces sun and moon. This is Ellie with your December love focus reading, the last for the year. Now please be aware this is a general reading, it will not apply to everybody. Although uh, it might apply every word. It all depends on what the angels want to tell you this week. Now please be aware that if you want a private reading, you've got to get on to my website www.hypnoyouallie.com. Christmas and New Year readings are filling up fast. Uh, and if you want to get that for 2016, uh, please get onto the website now. I will choose one card for the overall tone of the month and then one for each week. So you'll have four cards as well. So Pisces, I'm a Pisces uh, ascending. Look what we start with, the happy ever after. Emotional fulfillment, the fairy tale ending. This month will be full of emotional fulfillment, love flowing from everywhere. The rainbow is finally coming out in December for you Pisces. After such an emotionally turbulent time leading up, you are going to have that wonderful emotionally st stable time. First week, we do have the star card. So Pisces, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or uh, Pisces. Pisces, 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 Aquarius, whatever that combination is. You're feeling starry-eyed in love and someone else is feeling starry-eyed in love with you. For some, you are balancing two people. Uh, for others, you're balancing your work and your love commitments. But emotionally, you are the star of the show, what a wonderful first week. The second week we have the Knight of Pentacles and you've taken a pause and a time out. You've taken practical time out to reassess how you feel about a Capricorn, Virgo or a Taurus. Or you're getting advice, practical advice from one of those signs. Now this is taking a pause uh, in before the next leg. So you might be all hot and heavy over this new person, this new rainbow that's come, and you're having a bit of a break this week. Perhaps they're away for work. Perhaps you're um, taking time out um, so that you can uh, reassess how you're feeling before you move forward. Now this is a night, uh, it's the uh, 10, which is about the highest of fulfillment. This is about success. Um, knights have already learnt and they're putting those skills into practice. Uh, also, this could be from someone overseas, maybe they're going overseas or maybe it's someone from overseas that you're seeing. And the third week, we do have travel. So there definitely is travel around, whether it's uh, you going to travel or whether um, you meet someone on your travels or maybe it's work travels. But this again is with a Capricorn, Taurus or a um, Virgo. And you might be getting advice, practical advice uh, about this, or maybe you're really connecting and getting stronger with this person. The last card we have is the Two of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Now, first and foremost, your heart is protected and you have unconditional love from all of those around you. You also have support. Now, this might have something to do with a decision you're making about a Capricorn uh, or about a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Now, also, secondly, you're making these, this decision you've thought about nothing else. So, this decision you're making is about a uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and you're, you're thinking long and hard before you make that decision. But the water is completely stable behind this, and you have all the love and support that you need, Pisces. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading, and I shall see you next year.